back to the channel. Today we have an unboxing from Loxa Plants Seller on Instagram. I'll have their handle right here so that you can see the correct spelling of it. Um, but first, if you haven't already, I really, really would appreciate it if you guys could follow me here, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be putting out cool content once to twice a week, and I'd really love if you guys could stick around. Okay, so I'm going to break down the details of this shipment before I get into the actual unboxing. Now, I've seen other YouTubers unbox from this seller and they said that the seller has a shipment minimum of four plants. When I contacted them they told me they have a shipment minimum of five plants and that's just kind of one of the things you got to deal with if you order from an actual person instead of a business is you know their policies can change and you just got to roll up the punches. So I picked five plants off of their page and they offered me, it, if I bought two more, they would sell them to me for $50 each and they would throw in a free one. So, ideally, if they kept their word, there will be eight plants in here, seven that I bought and one free one that they included. The entire purchase itself, including shipping, was over $700. They told me that shipping to the US was $100 and they included Fido in that shipping. So that wasn't a separate charge that I saw. I'm going to break it down, the plants that I got and how much I paid for them. And hopefully this will be some good quality. I ordered the plants on March 23rd and she shipped it on April 6th. She did tell me that this usually isn't as slow of a process as it has been with my shipment, but that's just because of what's been going on in the world. It took her a while to get phytosanitary approved and stuff like that. But she did ship it on the 6th, sent me the tracking information and everything. It estimated to be delivered on April 14th, but it got here today, which is April 10th when I'm filming this. So it only took four days to get here, which was crazy. Like. I would have assumed with what's going on in the world that it would have taken longer to get through customs, but it was only in customs for like one day. So this was this this got this was lucky for me. So hopefully these plants are in good condition. This entire box is taped, so it's very hard for me to figure out where the opening is. Or if they're not taped in, okay, I'm, I'm able to just pull it out. All right, so, oh, that was, that was just the paper, guys, don't worry. <laughs> so this is the first plant. It's wrapped pretty well in packing paper. Um, I w I'm kind of curious to see which one she sent me for free. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this one... Is Philodendron Glorious, which is a hybrid between Gloriosum and Melanochrysum. And look at the look at this leaf, guys. Look at that. Look at that leaf. That is a huge leaf. Are you seeing that? Um, it looks like it's got three healthy leaves, all roughly the same size, with one on the way. Let's get a good look at these roots. Now, this one, the uh, Glorious, was $125, but it is a really large specimen, so I mean, I'm not surprised by that price tag. Oh my goodness, this is a, looks like a pretty extensive root system. Okay, so the roots are definitely dr a little dry right now. They definitely need to be potted up here soon, but this is very very healthy very large root system do y'all see this like i don't even see there's not like any root rot nothing it, it's it looks so good this is crazy guys so that was the glorious which is the gloriosum and melanochrysum hybrid um let me inspect for pests 
Okay, I don't... Upon first inspection, I don't see any plants. But I will keep it... I, I will pot it up, but I am going to keep it isolated for a couple of days to see if I see anything pop up. Okay. Plant number two. Ooh, okay. This was the Philodendron Melanochrysum, or Melanochrysum, however you want to pronounce it. This is a really good specimen. It looks like it's got one, the top leaf is bent just to fit into the shipping. Um, it doesn't look necessarily damaged. It just needs to be rehabbed basically. But it's got six leaves. It's, oh, it's in really good condition. Okay, let me inspect for pests real quick. All these leaves are gonna desperately need be cleaned off because there's a lot of things that looks like it might be dirt or it could be scale. But that shouldn't be too difficult to just clean off the leaves and treat them a little bit. Let's look at the roots. It's, you can already see it's got some crazy aerial roots. It is definitely gonna love being put on the moss pole. So my Milano Chrysum, I paid a hundred, um, I'm sorry, my Milano Chrysum I only paid $80 for, which is, this is a pretty large specimen for $80. Um, I know a lot of people buy plants online from other countries because they're cheaper. Um, I don't necessarily think that's a good idea because cheaper it usually lacks quality. So these are more expensive than you would probably typically pay to buy a plant from Thailand or Indonesia, but these ones are in really good condition and they're really large. Uh, and this, I don't think I said it before, this seller is in Indonesia. Um, yeah, these are some, this is some pretty good root system. Obviously it's not as extensive as that because these ones have just like thicker tuberous roots. But again, I don't see any root rot. I definitely see some dehydrated roots. They're definitely gonna need to be potted up really soon. It amazes me how many plants that they could fit into this box. Hmm. This one. This one is one of the ones that I added on for the $50 when she told me if I added two, you know, at the end. This one is um, an Anthurium Crystallinum, I believe. Uh, yes, Anthurium Crystallinum. Look at that leaf. Uh, so because this was an add-on, I paid $50 for it, but I'm sure it probably would have been more expensive if it wasn't an add-on plant. It looks like it has three, four leaves and one tiny leaf that probably unfurled while in shipping, so it's super tiny. We'll look at this root system. Ooh, super extensive root system, oh my. Again, these look very healthy. Just a little dehydrated, but no root rot. This is, this is some good some good rootage right here. Um, again, I don't necessarily see any pests immediately, um, but I am gonna have to clean the leaves to make sure the little bits of stuff I am seeing are just dirt and not pests of some sort, like scale. But that is, that's a pretty good leaf right there. It's a pretty good plant. <laughs> By the way, on the side, I will have been showing you guys the picture that I saw when purchasing this plant. It's the one that I actually saw on their Instagram and said, this is the one I want. So you should be able to compare and contrast what I saw versus what I got. Um, and so far I have not been disappointed, um, but they look pretty spot on. All right, plant, 
Oh, some of these are connected. Okay, plant number four. Ooh, okay. This one is a philodendron sodoroy, or sodor, I don't know how to pronounce it, sodoroy, that's how I'm gonna say it. And I paid $100 for this one. And it has two large leaves and one small leaf that looks like it just unfurled. Let's look at the root system. No root rot or anything like that. This is, I mean, it's not, at cutting or anything like that, but I do wish this one would have had a little bit more roots just because of the size of the plant. Um, but it's not a huge deal. It's still large enough that it could be potted up. But, you know, in an ideal world, it would have had a closer root system to what those are. But I think this is still a lot better than what most people get when they order from other countries. And we'll do another head test. These are, most of these are coming with some pretty large leaves. Um, again, it looks like I'm just going to need to clean the leaf. There's quite a bit of dirt, um, but that's about it. Okay. Oh, I do see some yellowing leaves on this one already through the top. So that's not good. Ooh. Yeah, look at that leaf. That one's going to, that one's going to kick the bucket. Uh, so this one is supposed to be an Anthurium Crystallinum mixed with a Magnificum. Ooh, I don't even know what kind of bug that is. That's a big ass spider is what that is. You guys, that scared the shit out of me. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm terrified of spiders. I don't know what kind of spider that was. Um, I just drenched this entire plant in the sink. It's the closest thing I had was just to run to my kitchen sink. Um, I don't see anything on there now. Oh, oh, oh. That's, oh, that scared the shit out of me. Okay. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna hold it so far away from my face now. No more head tests, guys. No more head tests. <laughs> um, yeah, so it looks like this leaf is gonna kick the bucket, but it looks like it's the oldest leaf, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, now I'm like terrified. Oh. Okay. I have so many more plants to undo and I have like, I don't even know. Okay, let's check out this root system. I'm so scared to open any part of this plant now. <laughs> I wish my fiance was here, I don't like bugs. Spiders specifically, especially ones that I don't recognize and don't know what they do. Okay, uh, I don't know if there might be another spider in this root ball, so I'm gonna do this over the sink so that I can kill it immediately. Okay guys, I didn't see another spider in the roots, but I drenched it anyways, just in case. Um, again, a very, very extensive root system. There is a little bit of root rot on these ones, but not a significant amount. Um, it is probably a quarter of them are rotted, um, but because there's so many roots, that's still plenty for it to survive. <sighs> Y'all, I'm, I'm gonna be creeped out this whole time. Um, this one uh, was probably the most expensive one in the list. This one was $150. Okay. Get it together, Cheyenne. Ah, get it together. Okay, next plant. Don't have a spider in it, please. Don't have a spider in it. Okay, so this one is a uh, shaking it out because I'm paranoid. This one is a Calathea macoyana or peacock plant. Um, I felt kind of brave, honestly, ordering this one because I did not think that a Calathea would do well shipped this way. 
Um, and it does, just by looking at the leaves, it does look like it's pretty dry, so it'll probably have some rehab time. It looks like it's got a couple of just like, oh, are there two different plants connected? It looks like there might be two plants wrapped together. Like one's, oh, like one's not a Macchiana. Oh yeah, so there are two. Um, I'm gonna set this one aside so I can figure out what it is later. But yeah, here's the Macchiana. I was getting a little confused because I was like, uh, this is not a necessarily variegated plant. Like, is it reverting? What is going on here? Because those leaves were all green. A very tiny root system, but I mean, it is a Calathea, so I'm not expecting, you know, the biggest tuberous roots ever. It looks like there's technically three little plants connected, um, but obviously I'll pot them up together. Um, doesn't look like there's any rot. Um, but these are very dry. They need to be, they need to be potted up immediately. I think that means that I have unboxed six. And there is that one and this one left. I want to say that I think that one was the free one. Um, nope. This is, this is the free one. Okay, so this one, uh, it definitely looks different from the picture she sent me, but I guess this is a philodendron adiba poensi. Um, yeah, definitely different from the picture. Um, the leaf coloring alone is very, very different. I'm skeptical if this is the same plant. She might have just given me a smaller specimen since this was one of the add-on plants, so I only paid $50 for it. Very little root system at all. Do y'all see this? Do you see this? It's a little ridiculous. I mean, it, it was an add-on plant, so whatever. Um, and then this one looks like it was the free one, so I'm glad she at least remembered. I honestly thought because it took so long to ship that she'd probably forget. I keep saying she. I honestly have no idea if it's a guy or a girl because I didn't like I don't see their face. And anything it's just the plants if you're watching this and you're a guy I'm so sorry that I've been calling you she this whole time um, and if you are a she <laughs> gosh what is this at the top of my head I want to say this is like a, a philodendron ring of fire but I don't think so I'll have to ask them what it is and insert the name like I inserted all the others. Um, but yeah, this is technically the free one. Let's check out the root system. Okay. This one's got a really extensive root system. Uh, it does look like there's a little bit of rot, but I can cut that off. Um, this has this is the free one, and it's got more roots than the Adaba Pulinci that I actually paid for. Um, yeah, this one does have a bit of root rot. Probably about half of it has rotted. But it's fine. Oh, lost the leaf. All right, guys, that's it for me. Um, if you want to see updates on what this looks like after acclimating and everything, you will want to watch my April plant haul video that I do at the end of the month. And I'll show you an update of essentially what it looks like after about two and a half weeks in my care. And I have mixed feelings about this. So many of the plants showed up in such good condition, but that spider, like, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a legit nightmare about this, about there being another one that I didn't see and now it's somewhere in my house. Um, <sighs> so that is a, that definitely knocked it down some, um, but, all in all, I think the plants themselves showed up in really good condition. Almost all of them had very extensive root systems. All of them except for the uh, Adaba Puensi have very extensive root systems. Adaba Puensi has enough that I probably could pot it up, but I'll probably put it in some water for a little while and let it acclimate and get a little bit more of a root system before I pot it up. Um, but all these other ones, I am going to cut whatever I need to cut off, clean the leaves and the roots and sanitize everything, and then them up. Hopefully this video was informative for you guys so that you know what you're getting yourself into if you buy from these sellers. Um, 
I think this is a good enough experience that I would probably buy from them again, but it was a big price tag, so it's definitely not gonna be anytime soon before I buy from them again. If you guys are looking to buy from them again, do not think you're gonna be able to order just like one plant. Um, this is definitely gonna be something you're probably gonna have to save up for and prepare for because it uh, definitely took a chunk. <laughs> No regrets, honestly. I don't regret it. I think it was good enough that it was worth it, but like I, I'm having a hard time being totally positive because the plants are extremely good condition. I'm just having a hard time because of that fucking spider. Sorry, my, my mouth, but like that's, it's, whoo. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. If you're not already subscribed, follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys later. Peace out.